Tilted Towers has been destroyed. And Fortnite is letting the community rebuild Tilted. And today we're working hard and hopefully get a building in Fortnite. We got the icon skin. Now we just need the block. Make sure to watch the build video all the way through and let me know what you think of the build down in the comment section below if you'll be voting for it, if it makes it to the voting stage. Fingers crossed it will. Now let's start building. Alrighty, so we've got the skeleton of our building made in Fortnite Creative Mode. I've got Dom here with me as well. That's where you say hi. Oh, you want me to say something? <laughs> <laughs> you say hi. So the way we've got the skeleton is we've split everything into several sections that we're going to work out through today's video. But just running you through each section, this is going to be the customer area, which also includes a bathroom. This area over here is going to be the kitchen area of Pizza Pete. All right, heading upstairs, we'll probably have the office area, break room, maybe a little mix of a storage facility in here as well. Out here, we'll have some outdoor dining along with some upstairs dining for the customer area, which will be done later on. And then last but not least, the drive through area is the final section that we're going to be working on. Our block is kind of cool. We're adding a drive through I don't think that's ever been done in Fortnite before, has it, Dom? I, I don't think so. First section we got to work out is the customer area. As you can see here, we've got the scaffolding set up. Let's start with some walls, Dom. Where is our wall selection? I picked out some special yellow ones we can take a look at. I I'm instantly drawn to it. For the entrance, we definitely got to be working with this prop. 100%, 100%. Okay, so this would be the entrance to the new pizza shop. All right. Minus the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll work that out. We'll work that out. Let's go floor or bathroom next? Um, Floor. Obviously, pizza place. We probably want to go for the checkered design. Yeah, I think that's probably best for this area. And then we can probably split it up for the kitchen. Maybe more of a traditional, like, black and white kind of tile. And so we're going to have a little door here. Yep, yeah. Yeah, like, see how they've done it? They've just, like, get the registers and they make a little gap. And that way, it's, yeah. like, good for gameplay, too. That's so good. Let's leave that for the, the rest of the kitchen. We're going to get the bathroom done. Let's do the bathroom. These look bathroom. Bathroomy. This one has pizza stuff on it. I mean, this one could work. This is a tile. Bathroomy tile. Yeah. Oh, I just deleted it because I'm an idiot. That's so <laughs> awkward. The hard part with the bathroom as well is that the roof has to match the balcony outdoor area. Geez, like a jigsaw puzzle, man. Ugh. This is really hard for me. I just want to say that. All right, let's finish up the bathroom. We need to find a door for the bathroom. All right, I think that's good. Looks good to me. And now you can play hide and seek in here. Yeah, I mean, it's a goaded hide and seek spot. I won't lie. You know what? I might put like a little bit of rubbish in, in the bathroom, maybe. Yeah, I mean, like that's kind of like how they work, though. Fast food restaurants, you got rubbish everywhere. For sure. A little trash can, a little mirror that doesn't ever work. Is there anything else we can add here? We could add a plant. That's great. That I'm is a 10 out of 10 bathroom. Let's get a door going. Boom. Look at that. Now that is a door. Wow. That's a door. Let's get some seats going, I think. Yeah, so we want to start them in the corner like that. But we do want these to be kind of like back to back. You know what I mean? But yeah, that, that's kind of the vibe for the tables. And then I'm thinking I might even go a little crazy. So how do I change the color of these? It's completely based on just where it is placed in the world. You're kidding. Yeah, so every time you cut these, this one and place it, it will always be yellow in this spot. But if you move it slightly to the right, it's going to change. Why? Why have they done that? Uh, eh, but I want it to be red and you read. I think that works for the tables and chairs. Now we need to have like the kind of section where they get the soda refills and whatnot. And we also need to fill in this big gap in the middle here. I'm thinking we got like the tables kind of making two almost like aisles right here. And then they go down like this way. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind this. I don't mind this. It's nice and uniform as well. Like I'm just like POV, you know what I mean? I'm a battle royale player. I'm dropping in. I'm like, all right, bunch of tables. Might be a chest on this one. I don't know. I'm not Epic Games. They pick the chest tables. Like chest right there. Like, yeah. And then it's like, we got a bathroom. They might put a chest in here. And then it's like, yeah, jump over the counter because that's what you always do. Yeah, like, I don't mind those there. I, I just wonder if that's like part of their theory of like, you know, annoying people or something. But let's definitely have like maybe a table turned over or something. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's great. That's great. And then... I was thinking a little bit here, you know, like someone's just fully trashed the joint is what it is. This is good character. This is the fine establishment sure, sure. that we are working with. Right, so <laughs> the fine establishment that's been trashed. Hey, it happens. All right. So I realized going into this that I was going to take a while because it took us an hour and we hadn't even left the first room. So Don the Absolute Legend went ahead and filled out the rest of the restaurant so that we can focus on the props. So big shout out. 
to my boy Dom. Let's go. Uh, take us through what you've done while we were AFK there. All right. So uh, as you can see, all the walls and ceiling and floor are all good. I added uh, lights in the middle of all the ceiling tiles. And I also added this big light right here in the middle. Uh, yep. Just to illuminate the room. And it also just kind of looks nice. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's a little bit of a railing up here now. I guess you don't want people falling. So upstairs, we've got this nice blank canvas to work with. We're continuing the upstairs decor of uh, the floor. Kane, probably like a couple umbrellas out here. Are we thinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Outdoor dining experience, all right? Look over the rest of Tilted Towers. Just imagine that's tilted and you're up here grabbing a pizza. I, I think it'd be pretty cool. I've right, got the kitchen area back here. Pretty bare bones at the moment. Obviously, we're going to prop it out in a second. And then upstairs, we have our kind of manager level. This is, you know, where the, the manager of the Pizza Pete works himself. And then the last thing we have to work on is obviously outside decor and the drive through which we've got like a little bit of a framework here thanks to dom i'd love if we could hang some stuff on the walls here like it's feeling a bit open do we want maybe like the pizza pit logo inside somewhere um yeah it's probably a good one i mean i like that i, I like that let's go to the kitchen yeah so i like this idea of putting these around the windows so yeah we want another one of these over here yeah that's perfect let's work on the freezer Just those are fridges but these are more like industrial freezers let's definitely get rid of these ones these aren't pizza pit you yeah know. Those are that true. one's like in between do you want to put a door here or no um yeah are we able to get one on the right side so it's like more space okay wild idea what if we take this Oh, so it goes on the other side? Yeah. Yeah. No, I like that. I like that. I got one of the pizza ovens back out here. Yeah, yeah I was thinking in the in the middle here, we can have like um, stove tops and then one of these props and we can have these on the roof. So imagine like... Oh, okay. Okay. What are these used for? That's fries. You can still sell fries here, right? Oh, yeah. Like... Totally get fries with pizza. In fact, let me look at the menu real quick. What do they got? Uh, well, I don't see fries. They have like 50 different types of pizzas. But... They have ice cream and that looks like coffee. Yeah. Dude, what the hell? Coffee is $99. What the frick? Dude, Epic's got to make their money somehow. We do need something to do over here, though. I feel like Fortnite normally puts boxes under the stairs. But... That's what I was trying to think of before with stairs under the boxes. Yeah, <laughs> stairs pretty... under the boxes. <laughs> oh my God, dude, I'm losing it. Yeah, the combination of both kind of works. What kind of restaurant just leaves boxes? boxes under the stairs. I mean, also the kind of restaurant that has a flipped over table. You know what I realized we haven't put in here yet that I feel like we need to? Where is What's this that? at? Oh, that, yeah. How are they going to know what to order? Like, yeah, come they on. they gotta yeah. know, bro. Oh, we're trying to get industrial up in here. Okay, okay. I see. Maybe, maybe. No, it's looking good. It's looking good. We're going to get some of these in here. These, like, kind of pick your own drink type of deal. Could put it, like, here. That way it's, like, logistical, you know, for, like, people in the drive machine. Like, when someone's all, like, I just want a bottle of water. That works. That works. Yeah, I see. This would really help if I worked in a pizza restaurant. Yeah, just stop YouTube. <laughs> like, I might need to consult with somebody oh dude the kitchen's actually looking kind of bussing right now yeah there's a place to grill chips but we don't do chips at the pizza place do we this is our restaurant we get to make the menu we are uncle pete right here and guess what domino's down the road for me does chips so if anyone wants to fight about it they can fight domino's all right it just looks a bit too on its own right now we need something else yeah. here this kind of feels like a cleaning area you got the sink on that side sink on that side you know double dishes are you enjoying your time in creative mode right i here? am <laughs> loving it this yeah. is the hardest hardest work <laughs> I've ever done. I'm on the floor. On the floor. Ah. Oh. I'm loving this. I would say 90% done. Now we're going to do upstairs management. We can have a little bit more fun. I'm just going to start pulling the stuff that we definitely need, which is like this board. I think we might get a two desk setup. Oh, I vibe with it. Filing cabinets. Maybe a coffee table. Oh, we could use a rug. Potential rug. Oh, yeah. Definitely maybe one of these. I crashed. Something happened. Oh, no. Dom's gone. I'm on my own. <laughs> no. All right. Well, Dom took it upon himself to uh, pretty much rearrange all of these props. This is what the upstairs management area is looking like. Like, this is exactly what I envisioned with the rug and the table, though. You crushed that part. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like it needs some, some more. Let's check the props real quick. Oh, what about like a fridge? Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Like maybe just a little snack thing. Do this one, though, because it has like a water dispenser and those fridges are always the best. We don't want to put a wall here yet, do we? Like with a door? Oh, this could work. Check this out. No, no, that's great. That's a great door. Yeah, and it's got like a pin.
pin code access to, which is like perfect because you should have pin code access to like the manager's office. Here's the problem though with this room, Dom, that I've just identified. Come out here. Let's say we're eating burgers, right? And we're oh, watching yeah. the staff. Yeah. Can't be yeah. watching the staff. Uh, we can eat this with a wall if we want. I'd pretty much go to say we can sign off on this one. This looks great, the break room. Alrighty, so the upstairs section. All right, this is pretty blank canvas at the moment. So I'm thinking here, that's the wall. Yeah, there we go. That's looking good. We'll get another one of these. I'm thinking probably just like here or... Oh yeah, condiment section. Yep, another great call. If I'm sitting here, I don't want to sit right next to the garbage, but I will sit next to the condiments. So move condiments are over. See, we actually think about things here. And then we got the outside section. What if we made the top of the building like scaffolding and like a construction zone? Oh, like, like the, the restaurant's expanding kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. And we use those kind of things that we used at the start, but we use that as like actual scaffolding. Um, I'm just trying to like find... There it is. I definitely want like a area like out the front here where it's like the construction workers used to like watch TV and stuff. Oh, I like that. Do we want two green ones, I reckon? I kind of like that. Now it looks like there's like something happening up top. Like something's going on up there. Oh, we're definitely gonna need some floodlights because like that's the construction zone, right? So like we want it kind of pointing at the construction. Epic Games, Fortnite slash the audience. We are taking everything into account here. So it's like, where are we dropping boys? All right, I'm dropping in, I'm dropping in. I'm liking the look of this. I would drop here. Granted, Epic, make sure to put 50 chests in the joint. Guaranteed Llama, you've done it before. Do it here. Let's actually bring back the Zapatron while you're at it. Really just make us the best drop on the map. It's Tilted Towers. Bring back Tilted Towers. I reckon this is looking pretty decent now. It looks like construction's going on. It does look like construction is going on. Oh, 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 oh. These little veranda things. Should we use these on the exterior like here that like open the drive through? Yeah, what do you reckon of that? I vibe with it. I like these in here. Yeah, is that what you're yeah. gonna do? I mean, mm -hmm. it's like it's like double undercover, but like it's the aesthetic, right? That's hella clean. All right, so I actually, I went to a Starbucks drive through today and they had these little like whole looking barricades at like the drive-thru window. So you don't get like too close, you know? And I, I vibe with it. I'm oh yeah, of... like the bollards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. See, we did field research for this one. There's always the sign that says where the drive-thru is. And then there's oh. obviously the thing you got to order off of. Like you got to have the menu on the uh, outside. How of... did I not think of that? I'm going to counter this right here. Okay, so I went into Taco Bell with Boomer when I was in Tennessee. First time going to Taco Bell, by the way, is actually pretty lit. I really hated that I wasn't able to see the menu earlier in the drive through experience. Like, we were stacked up, five cars in, and you see the menu right when you're ordering, and it was very inefficient. Could we bring it up a little bit? You know what I mean? Like Game changing. So that way, you see the menu two before you order. So, before we sign off on this, what do we have to do? I think we got to do something upstairs in this umbrella section. I feel like something's missing a little bit. So, like, maybe just like a little seat thing going on over here? Yeah, okay. So you can like sit and chill. I mean, you are next to a garbage. Yeah, and no, I like this little setup here. And maybe we do another one of these. It's like add like, another chair back? Yeah, add another chair back. And maybe we do one of those. It's just that color though, you know? Hey, he gets the green. Let's go. I cannot understate Epic Games. I have not been aware of this. Why does it change the color depending on the... Oh, don't change it again. Oh, you scared I'm Sorry, me. It, was, it was still off the wall. I don't know about you, but I think that might be wraps for Uncle Pete's Pizza Pit. I vibe with it. I could see like me dying here several times. Like, I think it could work. I think aesthetically we did something different with the drive through. Like, I'm just trying to think what like I could change. And like, I don't know. I'm just thinking this whole place is bussing. It's like easy to walk through. You got like obstacles. You got the upstairs place. Obviously, I was going to break through the whole thing. <laughs> I think this is sick. Should we get some other people in and see what they think? I think we should. All right, let's do it. All righty, the loser fruit. Welcome to Uncle Pete's Pizza Pit. You get the actual, you know, first walkthrough because this will be in the game at one point. I mean, I hope it is. Okay. Welcome. This is going to replace the Trump building. So this is the restaurant. Where the former pizza pit was. Exactly. We're doing it better over here. Is it because this chair's knocked over? It's character. <laughs> so this is, yeah, the lobby kind of restaurant area. We got a, we got a toilet as well. Dude, hide and seek in here could be kind of crazy actually as well what's behind the counter oh wait how'd the pizza get there who threw the pizza mm, it's handy. well i mean it is a pizza shop so you would expect pizza here oh this is this is a drive through that's it can you drive a car through i want to see it nowhere in fortnite is there a drive through <laughs> hello liz fruit may i please have a pizza would you like fries with that they don't do fries here <gasps> What yeah. do you mean you don't? Do you only do pizza? It's pizza pit. No sides of fries. See, I said we could have done it because Domino's actually do pizza. Maybe 
second place has cider fries. I think I know what Luthu's prop's gonna be. So then upstairs we have, you know, administration room. Where the real talks go down. Yeah, <laughs> this is where business is made. Wait, this can all fit in the block you're given? Oh my God. So yeah, then we got the roof. Obviously this business is doing very well. So they're obviously, you know, investing in future infrastructure. So oh, okay. obviously you need to see what you're ordering and everything, so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I really love this. Kath, what would you rate it out of 10? Listen, the chair's fallen over, negative point for me. But I actually like that in, in, in tilted, there's shorter buildings as well. Mm -hmm. And I like the drive-through. I think that's really unique. Thank you. And I can't wait to no. get shot from this particular balcony. <laughs> Can we save that clip in case Kath has a clip of her dying on the balcony? <laughs> no, really All right, so Kath, nothing we're doing is we're getting everybody on to place a prop. I want the air fryer. <laughs> Give me the air fryer. Is that a fry? Like, are these fries? Oh, no, there's one that's better than that. Oh, here we go. This one. Yes. That's a fryer. So as of now, we now have fries as well. Oh, so you oh! already have that. Only one for fries, though. Delete this. Oh, my God. Person who cooks fries needs to sit down. Is this what you envision? Yeah, I'll work the fries. All right, we've got a fry section. I didn't know they sit down, but now they do. <laughs> I'll be on my feet all day. A game, all right? Oh, 100%. You know, I'm going to give it a nine. That's nine. It's pretty good. There's got to be something that looks like. This is uh, Kat's new addition. It's a uh, speaker box with double the uh, things to order. I, I like that. You never know what's on the menu, so you need to see it twice sometimes, all right? I love it. All right, we're here. All right, so this is the ground level, the foyer, the, you know, customer experience place. You know, we try to tell a little bit of a story. We got a little bit of rowdy customers throwing chairs over, a little cleanup going on. We'll probably go into the kitchen next. A little bit crazy in here. What happened? Yeah, this is the kitchen area. This is the drive-through component. This is where you take in all your orders. And then over here, you've got the refrigerator room storage area. You really didn't think of everything in the, that you might need. Okay, okay, we thought of everything. I, I like <laughs> the drive-through idea, though. That is, like, very unique. They got to bring the pizza back, though. Epic, if you're putting this out, we got to get the pizza back. I want people posting up, giving pizza out to people in the drive-through. That'd be elite. And then upstairs, you've got the managerial office. You know, it's like, you know, might get a chest up here. We might do a little ammo box here. Like, you already got it all planned out. Like, chest oh, okay. there, well, we're the job. There. Yeah, Epic, if you pick our map, then, like, we already know where the chests are for. You don't even gotta do anything. And then outside, we've got the umbrella area. And then, so this part's cool because you can, like, kind of umbrella up to the rooftop. So the business is doing so well that it's obviously expanding. You know, they're starting construction already on the next level. I love it. They're always expanding. That's how tilted <laughs> it is, too, you know? It's tilted towers. It's all about infrastructure. And here at Pizza Pete, we're all about infrastructure. What do you reckon, KK? It definitely feels like something that would fit in tilted. Even up on the roof. This is like such a tilted thing where they got like a little yeah. setup up here to watch TV. You also have the unique spin of it being a drive through And I think that's a really fun element. Oh, yeah, even have like a little drive through menu. Yeah. All righty, first gameplay test. All righty, Uncle Pete here. All right, here we go. This is what's going to happen when the map comes out. We've got the drive through I'm working the checkout. If you see this block in the map, I want you working checkout just like me. What is your order? Uh, I, I would like a large pepperoni pizza, please. That'll be $10.52. I'm broke. I can do dishes. <laughs> All right, we'll get you a job. Uh, meet me in the next window. I'm just gonna go cook your pizza right. real quick. All right, yep, let's go. go. There's your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do a manual delivery here, but it looks like the pizza disappears when I move it. So uh, GG. That better work better for actual people in the game. Final thing, KK. So you gotta rate it out of 10. I'm gonna give it a, a solid nine. Ooh. If you'd approve, I kind of want to add some kind of like rug. It depends where, really. Gotta have like a little welcome mat. And this is like, you know, you'll go to a restaurant and there will be a mat at the front to wipe your feet. That's your mat, KK. I want a screenshot of you on a pizza <laughs> emote right here. I don't know how I have it, but I do. <laughs> All righty. Radius and Sarif, welcome. Gonna give you guys a tour and then I'd love to grab a score off you guys. Right. This is the restaurant area. This is where all the customers eat and consume their pizza. A little bit messy. A little bit messy, but yeah, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. So one cool thing that we have at this pizza pit is that we have a drive-thru. Uh, you don't say that every day. You don't yeah. see that, right? It's got some unique value. $99. I don't get the pricing. It doesn't make dollars per slice. Hey, hey. What do you guys reckon? Give us a score out of 10. Like, just envision this in Tilted Towers. All right. I've just dropped in and I'm in Tilted. I've gone in this building and I've come out stacked. So I'm giving it a nice 8 out of 10. I really do hope they make it stacked. Look, I, I was thinking like a 9 before I saw the prices. <laughs> eight and a half, maybe. Eight and a half? No, I'll take eight and a half. Half a point off. So yeah, yeah you guys get to add something to the map. Yeah, 
Okay, maybe some more pellets. This one would go in there. That looks nice and good. All right, you boys happy with that? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's the contribution. More mats on the map. I think it's actually a good one. That is one of my biggest pet peeves with the new POIs when there's no mats. That is eight and an 8.5. Is that what we're dealing with? Yeah, I reckon yeah, I give so. it 8.5. Pog, pog, double 8.5. Let's go. So after a couple power people came through, we got like an average score of like 8.75, close to a nine. We'll take that. Well done, Dom. This has been a very awesome project. Everybody, if you get a chance to vote for this map, if we make it through the first round and it comes to a vote, make sure to vote and see this map in the game. If you guys haven't checked out the other power create maps, do so. See you guys next time. Peace.